A warm welcome to Medical Skills, the provider of medical education for more than five years to such people as the Royal Society of Medicine, the Royal College of GPs and many other people worldwide. We would like to share with you now our suite of training videos that we've developed with our team of healthcare professionals and our partner, Disposable Medical Instruments. They cover most of the core competencies needed for minor surgical training for general practitioners and other healthcare professionals. We're now going to show how to excise an epidermal cyst. The cyst boundary should be identified and marked, and an ellipse should be marked out to include the punctum at the centre. A field block is used to anaesthetise the cyst, taking care not to puncture the cyst. Then, with a gentle stroking action, the ellipse is incised. Be careful not to go too deep, as you may risk rupturing the cyst. Then, using the tooth forceps, find the plane in which you will blunt dissect. Using blunt dissection, the cyst wall is separated from the surrounding tissues. Care should be taken at all times to prevent rupture of the cyst, but if it does occur, a clip can be placed over the puncture site. When the cyst sac is completely free from the surrounding tissue, it can be lifted out together with the attached ellipse of skin and sent for histology. Be very careful to ensure no fragments of the cyst wall remain behind after closure of the wound. Deep dermal sutures are ideal to close any potential space before closing the skin with interrupted sutures.